people welcome to Tuesday's tips uh, this today I want to answer a couple questions that uh, you all left me in comments and it was about my spinner this is just a regular little cake spinner you can see and what I like about this one with the pedestal versus the ones that are like stuck together or right on top of each other is if if your paint your, the paint doesn't flow down and get into the bearings of it and uh, clog it up so to speak so it just keeps it you know even if paint runs down it may get on the base a little bit but it's not going to hurt the bearings and and cause it to to stick now what I used and it was an afterthought um, so I started off with these in the middle, and they're just stir sticks. You can get them at the hardware store, at Walmart, uh, order them, or you know anywhere that sells paint is going to have these these stir sticks. So I glued these on, and I just used this Well Bond glue to stick them on, and it holds seems to be holding really well. Um, but then what I realized was just having these two when you put a canvas on it was it was a uh, it had a little bit it had this little bit of play underneath so it made it un, not level so you want to have everything as level as possible so I added these two now unless you're going to be doing something small as long as your piece covers this one and this one you could go with just the four I had already stuck those on and, and they're like I said they are glued on really well so um, I didn't want to take them off and they're very lightweight they're not they're not interfering with the the spinning uh, in any way so uh, this is uh, you can find the link down below uh, on, on Amazon this little cake spinner um, or I've just ordered a, a base and it says it can hold I think a hundred pounds so I'm gonna attempt to make one that's bigger to for bigger canvases but I'll let you all know how that goes once I get it in and uh, see if it works like in my, you know, I get all these things in my imagination and then sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So the next question that was uh, was was brought to me, to me uh, on the comments was about spinning the flower in uh, the opposite direction. Now, the reason I didn't do it the other day in the last video is because I have spun things before and when it changed the direction, it changed the shape and I didn't want to change the shape. So, let's give it a whirl to, in today's tip with the spinner and see what happens. Now, this is all I do. So, I take some painter's tape and I just stick it to the, stick it to the edge of the canvas right there. And this is just so it will stay secure on the spinner when you're spinning and it doesn't go flying off into your room. So now it's 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 on there, it won't go flying off. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a black background this time. Uh, let me grab gloves. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. And I end up with such a mess. Hey, and if you're joining me today from uh, any of you guys that I met in Harleton at the at the Christmas Outdoor Fair, I want to welcome you to the channel. And it was awesome to meet all of you the other day. It was a beautiful day, uh, and I know people were glad to to get out in the air, in the fresh air, and just it was it was it was a very nice day. And I met a lot of you, really, really nice, really great folks. Okay, something's clogging. Mm. Clogging my, my system here.
I'm thinking I'm going to do a giveaway, folks. So, y'all tell me. I want you to look through the videos and tell me which piece of art you'd like me to do a giveaway on. This is my little uh, bottle bottom that uh, from Splash and Color that we talked about in the last video as well. Okay, I'm going to use a couple of different reds, and I don't know, this may not be, I've got Vermilion Red and Brilliant Red. I don't know, just kind of thinking poinsettia. So let me, eh, and I didn't open them, my bad. Okay, these are the Arteza paints, pre-mixed, ready-mixed, uh, pouring acrylics. So let's start with this Brilliant Red. So I'm going to do a little black, just a little bit to break it up. And then the vermilion red. Eh, it's pretty close, isn't it? Eh, well, we'll just keep doing the black. Maybe we'll add a dash of white. I'm going to add this yellow because I want it, I'm hoping it'll fall back in the center. Cover everything up and now let's spin it clockwise to start with. Okay, now I'm going to spin it the other way and let's see if it holds our pattern the way we want to. Well, look at that. that. That white sure stretched out. Uh, I really want something else here in the middle. Got a lot of... Let's see what we could do there.
So, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it, so spinning the other way, I, I, like I said, I didn't do it the other day because I had done one before and it, 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 it made it, it was all going one way when I spun it the other way, it kind of went, it shifted in the wrong place. Now I can't tell on this that there's any shift. So I guess, you know, really and truly, it's just trial and error, folks. It's just trial and error. Pour and pour again and see what happens pour over your canvases that you you know you don't like uh don't hesitate to pour over them uh, just if you're practicing instead of using a new one and then when you feel comfortable with with your results then transfer do another one on on a, a clean canvas but i think this little booger came out pretty cute so anyway this is my turntable just a cake spinner links down below i uh, hope you'll check those out and uh, a lot of other things on my my list of uh, products i use products i want <laughs> we've all got those right but uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to check out again check out all the links down below the arteza link is down there for you to take a look at all their beautiful paints and pigments and and all kinds of uh, products canvases so be sure and uh, check out their their page and um, hey if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the thumbs up i'll see you next time